10. This question involves four number cards. A. Use the number cards to complete the calculation below. One of the cards can be used more than once. Here then we're going to use the number cards 0, 2, 5 and 6 in the spaces here to make a calculation which is a division and results in an answer of 8. You can see that we are dividing a three digit number by a two digit number. If we are dividing this number by our two digit number here and we result in an answer of 8, it means that whatever the number is here, if we multiply it by 8, we should get the answer here. This will help us to find the answer because we can make all the possible permutations of two digit numbers from these number cards and then multiply each one by 8 to see which one results in an answer we could make using the number cards we're given and remembering that one of the cards can be used more than once. So let's think of all the two digit numbers we could make with 0, 2, 5 and 6. Of course first of all we could make 20, 50 and 60 by using the digits with a 0 at the end of them. Then we could make 25 and 52. We can then make 56 and 65. We can also make 26 and 62. These are all of the two digit numbers we can make using the four cards we're given. Now we can multiply each of those numbers by 8 and see what three digit number we generate. 20 multiplied by 8 is 160. 50 multiplied by 8 is 400. 60 multiplied by 8 is 480. 25 multiplied by 8 is 200. 52 multiplied by 8 is 416. 56 multiplied by 8 is 448. 65 multiplied by 8 is 520. 26 multiplied by 8 is 208. And 62 multiplied by 8 is 496. So these are all the possible outcomes and you can see we can eliminate some straight away. First of all we can eliminate 20 multiplied by 8 as the answer here uses a 1 and we do not have a 1. 50 multiplied by 8 makes 400. We have a 0 but we don't have a 4. 60 multiplied by 8 is 480 and again we don't have 4 or 8. 25 multiplied by 8 is 200. Remember though we can only use one of the number cards twice so if we used 25 here we would reuse the 2 here but we couldn't use the 0 twice here to make 200 so this answer can't be considered either. 52 times 8 is 416. We don't have a 4. 56 times 8 is 448 but again we don't have any 4s. 65 times 8 is 520. We do have the cards to make this number. 26 times 8 is 208 and we don't have any 8s. And 62 times 8 is 496. We don't have a 4 or a 9. Here then the only answer which we can give is 65 multiplied by 8 is 520. This means that by using the 5, the 2 and the 0 to make 520, I can then divide that by 65, hereby using the 5 twice, and this would result in the answer of 8. The calculation we should have given here then is 520 divided by 65.